We're joined by Kookaburra, Jacob Wetton, who's in town for a few days from Perth. Jake, uh, do you have any recollections of your first ever game? I don't really. I, I know it was playing for South in Rockhampton when, when I think I was about four or five years old. Um, but no, not, not from back then. That's sort of all I can remember. And first game for Easts? Was in 1997. Uh, played, played Minkies with East. Um, I think Dad actually was the coach. So um, yeah, I would have been again five or six years old. So going back a fair while now. And it wasn't much after that your, your representative career began. Can you remember first playing for Brisbane? Probably as a nine or ten year old. Yeah, I think as a as a ten year old uh, in the under eleven Brisbane team. Um, again can't really remember much of it but yeah definitely definitely remember remember representing Brisbane on a number of occasions and thoroughly enjoyed it. So can, can you recall when you first uh, realised that there's a, this thing called the Australian hockey team and you first had a thought that you might like to uh, uh, effectively devote your life to hockey and, and play for Australia? Yeah probably I uh, probably wasn't until I was around probably 14 or 15 I sort of started Realizing that hockey, you can you can actually represent your country, and and yeah, I, at that stage I was I was in the Queensland junior teams and and was striving to be to be a better player, and yeah, that then from then on I always wanted to play for Australia, and that was a that was a goal for me that no matter what it takes, I, I would get there. So I'm lucky enough I've got there, and yeah, I don't want to be anywhere else in the world. Yeah, that was only uh, five or six years ago. You mentioned striving to be a better player. For 14, 15 year olds watching now, uh, you know, share with them what sort of things were you looking to improve at the time? Um, from, from many coaches I was told that the basic essential skills of hockey is if you've got them down pat you, you're going to be a great hockey player so I really worked on my basics, trapping, hitting the ball, um, being a striker, scoring goals so I, I really focused on through my junior career trying to, to get those down pat and um, yeah led me to where I am today I guess. And I assume you can remember, actually remember your first game for Queensland? Yeah it was in the under 13s we went to Coffs Harbour and uh, they didn't have a final but I remember definitely remember winning on, uh, on goal difference so yeah we'll, we'll always remember that one. And you've represented Queensland through under 15s, 18s, 21s. The move from under 18s to actually Blades representative representation came on very quickly. Yes it did. Um, I was I played my first year of under 21s as a 16 year old uh, and the next year uh, I'd been to a few trainings with Greg, Brand uh, Greg Browning um, and then yeah he, he said to me that I'd be playing my first Blades uh, game in 2009 um, at the Brisbane Hockey Centre so I was yeah, over the moon, I, I'll remember that day for the rest of my life. That was the first goal that I'd always wanted to do was play for the Blades and growing up watching them play. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty surreal feeling that day. So you still remember the open net that you missed? Yeah, I remember my first touch hitting my foot, but we've come a long way from there. And that led within 12 months to uh, Australian Under-21 representation of the Junior World Cup? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a big surprise for myself. Uh, I, um, I was fortunate a lot enough to go to finals week in AHL in 2009, and, and uh, Jason Duff, the coach, after the, the tournament, came up to me and, and offered me to to go to Northern Territory for our Junior World Cup training camp and went up there and yeah was just successful with that and went to Malaysia and Singapore and represent Australia for yeah, the Junior World Cup which again I'll, I'll never forget that experience being my first Australian team um, yeah it was, it was an unreal experience. Share with uh, the rest of us mere mortals when you get the call saying you've been selected as a, for Australia in the open in the senior team, what's the feeling? Uh, it was it was pretty unbelievable. That, like I said before, it was is the goal of mine ever since I was 15, 14, 15 years old, and to get to get the email saying uh, or to get the phone call, sorry, saying from Rick saying I was I was going to be representing Australia. At, at the Aslan Shah tournament in, uh, at the start of 2010, yeah, I'll, that's one of the days I'll never forget in my life, definitely. You've had so many uh, firsts in, in big games. Do you suffer from nerves? Um, not, not really anymore. I did. I definitely used to suffer with nerves. Uh, 
I think not knowing, not knowing how myself, I guess, the potential I had in myself to play and, and always putting a lot of pressure on myself to play. And now, now being where I am, I, I know that I've gotten here by my hard work and I'm not being chosen in teams because uh, I'm not good enough. So I think now that being older, a bit more mature, I've, I've sort of been able to calm the nerves. I still get them occasionally in, in big games, but not, not as, definitely not as much as I used to as a junior. Being older, you're not 21 yet, so <laughs> yeah, that's a... Tell, tell, uh, tell me, uh, what's uh, a week in the life of a kookaburra during a heavy training look like? So we, we train six days a week. Sunday is our rest day. Um, and last year, Sunday for myself was, was a club game. So I had seven days of hockey in, uh, in last year. And so Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday mornings, we, we had stick training. And Tuesday and Friday, we had a, a gym session. And at the, the AIS in Perth, we have recovery rooms and physios and if we have any little niggles they they always want you in there and trying to recover your body as best that they can so yeah it's it's pretty full-on but that's uh, that's what I've always wanted to do and never complaining about it at all and when uh, playing at international level versus say playing at state level what's the biggest difference um? the, the quality of again coming back to basic skills everything is is just another step up each level um, the quickness of the of the game, the the ball speed, yeah, basically, it just just is crisp. It, it's just so good to to be able to play a game where the whistle doesn't get blown every two seconds. That the play goes on because we're trapping the ball. We can we can find passes, and so yeah, that that was the main thing I think myself. I found out that it was just crisp and really quick, and basic skills were yeah were at the top level. And your advice to a young player, what should they be concentrating on other than basic skills? Um, I, I think another main one for myself definitely was train like you play. I think that I think probably I, I wasn't very good at it as a junior. Uh, I, I sort of probably took training a bit too, too fun. Uh, and then being, being a bit older now, I realised that if you train well, then there's more chance, more likely chance of you playing, playing a game for Australia. So I think as a junior, it, you have to have fun no matter what. It's, hockey's got to be fun, otherwise, otherwise we won't play it. So I think that as long as you're training hard and, and listening to your coaches and, and not mucking around in the sessions, I think that's, that's a big key definitely for, for young guys. Finally, your mother and father, Tom and Kim, are, are great supporters of hockey overall, of yourself in particular. But I, I reckon your greatest fans, uh, Rochelle. Can you hear your sister, Rochelle? Can you hear her in the, in the, when you're playing for the grandstand? Because she certainly cheers loudly. I definitely can. Every time she comes and watches, she's always on my back. But she, her, her and uh, her and mum have always been like that, and I wouldn't be wouldn't be where I am today without without them. They've they've been uh, the support that I couldn't have ask for anything else they're they're always there and I'm used to now hearing mum and mum and my sister yelling at me for not running back or putting my stick on the ground so uh, I kind of miss it in Perth a little bit here and there but it's always nice to to come back home and and hear them hear them nagging at me and get out of bed and do that so yeah it's, it's always good to have them around. Jacob, I uh, know you're only in town for a couple of days. You're very busy. Very much appreciate you uh, catching up with us on Hockey Zone and giving us an insight into uh, your world and the world of kookaburras. Not a problem. Thank you very much for having me. Get into the zone. Get into the zone. The Hockey Zone. Get into the zone, the hockey zone!